I'm going to show you how to do the most important TLC of the month for 6 minutes repair at the very end. This is the fleet I'm using, full X1 Union fleet with the flagship. Pretty normal builds, except for the fifth ship is a hyper evade tank, which is pretty important. You can still easily get through these without the crew, without that fifth ship, but I just reduced my repair time by doing this kind of thing. Now this is encounter number one, it is on auto, or it's not on auto, excuse me, it is sped up to 2x speed, which means it just goes through faster. I'd rather have a 10 minute video than a 20 minute video, because there are 7 encounters in this target. Now what you'll notice is I'm driving this, and I'm always within range of an ammo carrier, or hopefully two, when I'm killing any of the Jug X or the Typhoons, any of the black ships that spit out torpedoes and drones and rockets. I have to be within range of an ammo carrier when I'm killing them, so I do more damage per second and get that special proto ammo in the red ring. Encounter number one, easy, instant repair on map. Encounter number two is one that we have seen before, it was previously the auto target in this first raid, and was also come back and has been, has been there quite a few times. Now this is fairly standard to go through, follow the pattern I'm hitting here, try and stay within range of an ammo carrier when you're killing the Jugax, and make sure you don't kill the ammo carrier early, which I actually somewhat do in one of these cases. But you'll notice it's still really low repair, and it also helps if you do have the fifth ship with the extra armor plate so it moves a bit faster than everything else. It has like two combat speed higher than everything else, and has way more evade, which is pretty helpful. I should probably not kill this ammo carrier right here, and I should use it to take down the next Jug X, but I do, and we're just going to live with that. You can still make changes if you mess up here, it doesn't matter too much following the exact path or pattern, it's more just knowing how to deal with the ships and the targets and how to take them down, rather than copying every exact move I make. Encounter number 2 is done, also instant repair on map. Encounter number 3 is another one of these fairly standard ones, like I said, every other time I just autoed these, I was only driving them for the video to show you you could do these at low repair. You should know not under any circumstances auto any of the targets on encounter 4, 5, 6, or 7, because you will lose your fleet, I found out the hard way. Now, this is another standard one, just kill the ammo carriers will at last at the end after you kill all the Jug X, and make sure you're just within range of a few of these when you are killing the Jug X. Use shift click to select the ships you want to kill first, so you can save the rest for later, and after that it is just straight cleanup. This TLC is so important because it gives you some limited torpedoes, more limited specials, it gives you 7 days of Ronin build tokens, and 5 days of Ronin upgrade tokens. It is very very important, the most important TLC of the month. Encounter number 4 is one you cannot drive, enter at the bottom right and shoot up through that first yellow gap, and then head for the battle cruisers. I don't do a great job killing the battle cruisers first in this target, or early rather, but I still get them down. And just follow that path like I did, go back and replay it if you need to. And then after that's done, try and kill the typhoons while you're also within range of the ammo carriers, and make sure you don't go into the yellow clouds because they are quite painful. And you do get close to them sometimes, I'm within like 30 range of that ammo or of that typhoon, I probably should not have been, and that meant I took some drone fire, some explosive damage, but it wasn't too bad, and it's still going to be instant repair, I believe in base for this target. Overall, not a bad one whatsoever, just enter on the bottom right, it does matter what direction you come in for, you might have to wait sometimes for a yellow cloud to move across the target, sometimes you might not. Out of the 7 times I've hit this, I've had to wait 5 of those 7 times. So that's encounter number 4, done. Encounter number 5, you want to enter at the very bottom, kill the first battle cruiser, like I did right here, and then sneak through these ammo carriers and typhoons. Sometimes there is some randomization of what ships are ammo carriers and are typhoons, so it's again the general strategy rather than copying the exact path. Now that the two battle cruisers are down, just go for the typhoons and always be within range of an ammo carrier. If you have to engage a typhoon when you're not close to anything else, make sure you're doing so with full proto ammo because it helps you out drastically and increases your damage per second dramatically going against these ships. Now that those ones are dead, it is just free repair. You'll notice that my range rings are not quite stacked up when I start moving or when I finish moving either because I have one ship with a D5 EV plate which adds like 7% combat speed so it pulls out slightly ahead of the others and it is my evade tank. It is by no means necessary for these targets but it just helps me reduce my damage because I'm always hitting the one, I always have the ship with the highest evade out in front. 
Encounter number six is tricky. Enter at the very bottom and kill the battle cruisers first. If you can, avoid damaging ty the typhoon. Unfortunately, I did not here. And this means that it's going to spit out some drones at me, and I have to press the zero key on my keyboard to target those automatically because ships AI tends to ignore drones by default and go for ships such as the battle cruiser originally. That's perfectly fine, and that's almost what I want to do. After the three battle cruisers are down, it should just be all accessible from this target. Start heading for the Typhoon ships. It may vary which one you go for first, depending on which ammo carriers are left alive. For example, the one on the left right here does not have an ammo carrier with it, so I'm not going to engage it right now because I killed that one earlier. Now, if you do have to engage a Typhoon without an ammo carrier, make sure you are already at full proto ammo which is an issue I am going to run in, in the second bit of this target. There are also a whole bunch of moving yellow clouds and also some golden rings you have to stay out of. It is not possible for me to stay out of all of them 100% of the time perfectly, especially when I'm not trying to get pretty low repair. I averaged one and a half to two hours repair across all seven encounters when I was driving this pretty lazily and autoing the first three, but this one is going to be instant repair and base. Notice how I did not use my proto ammo to kill that ammo carrier. I saved it for the typhoon, so I have full stacks going against this final typhoon here. Stay out of the yellow cloud and just hit that a bunch of times, and essentially hope the golden rings don't land on you. Encounter number 7 is by far the trickiest one. Engage at either the far left or the far right of the target, and aim to kill the battle cruisers first. You can kill the drug eggs perfectly fine, but you have to kill the battle cruisers be kill before you kill the typhoons, because otherwise they're going to heal the typhoons and you're going to be very sad because you won't be able to kill them. Once you kill the first one, the other one of the other ones should trigger in the target and move towards you. You sometimes have to play a little bit of the game of cat and mouse. I find it helps to move far away from the cloud and come back to it because it seems to move fairly close to you and it seems to be based off of that rather than the location in the target. Or maybe I'm just imagining things but I am getting some damage off on it. You do have to get towards the center of the target, which I do by going close to the ammo carrier. Even if those shoot at you, they don't really do any damage to you. I haven't seen my health bar dropping at all, so I'm able to get another few battle cruisers triggered and kill those. The path will vary every single time you hit this target. Out of, this, out of about, probably about four or five times I've done this target, it's been different every single one because the clouds move and the ships are, are it's a dynamic target. I've not hit it the same way twice when I've done it, gone through it. Just try and follow the general principles of kill the battle cruisers first, then go for the typhoons within range of the ammo carrier areas, leaving them alive if at all possible for the end of the target. And by the way, everything here is on 2x speed. It will take you a bit longer. It's pretty fine to go through this. It probably took about half an hour for me to go through the TLC, with a, which has a one hour time limit. It really shouldn't be that big of a problem. Now disclaimer here, you will not be able to do the same thing I'm doing and take almost no damage if you are using the Kickside build UZ Remuneers. I do have this X1 fleet, they are my build, and I do have a crew on. I'm doing everything I can to reduce damage and I'm driving pretty heavily too. I don't know if it's possible to go through with a UZ Remuneer fleet, but this is what I'm doing with an X1 Remuneer fleet, and the path is exactly the same, the techniques are exactly the same for both of these, at least the ones I'm talking about here. There's nothing really other tips or advice I can give. If people are wanting a path for the U0 fleet, it's the same as the X1 fleet. The driving techniques are the same. The strategies are exactly the same. And crews that help might be crews like the Sea Serpents, as well as the Stillhead Screw can both be helpful. Engaging this Typhoon here, you can see I did not have any proto ammo, but it still goes down fairly quickly because it was spe I already had full proto ammo. I didn't have an ammo carrier near me. That was an important distinction to realize. Notice I am killing some ammo carriers, but after everything around them is dead, it just helps the target go through more quickly and kill everything more. I did switch what, what ship I was tanking with from number 5 to number 2 or 1 here, because I felt I was taking too much damage on the fish ship and it wouldn't be instant repair. Turns out I was right, and as you're going to see, I will end up taking 6 minutes of repair from this target, and everything else, all the other encounters, were free repair on map or in base. So it is very easy to do this TL thing to, to do this TLC if you have the full X1 fleet for instant free repair everything. But more realistically, you're going to spend you know less time driving, more time autoing, less careful driving, paying less attention, and take about two hours damage on this thing. But you can still easily run through multiple multiple prize packs in a row. 
Here are the prizes from the mastery round. And as you can see, 14 minutes, but that goes down once I repair everything to six minutes on the final ship. If, the, if this video did help you, go ahead and leave a comment on Facebook if you're watching this, a like on YouTube, and I'll do my best to keep making more like this. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.